The weekly sermon delivered to the congregation. The senior imam of the mosque, Kashmir Chepa, knows that the majority of his community are law-abiding people. But he also knows that some Muslims ignore imams like him who advocate for peace and instead want to fight for radical groups in the Middle East. A group of young people may think this is an issue of brotherhood and that they have to help them in the Middle East. The question is, is this the right way according to true Islamic teachings? Or has it been misunderstood to a point where the actions taken are against Islamic teaching? From that interpretation, joining in the violence is not Islamic. While religious leaders in Malaysia are trying to guide their congregations, the government has taken a more direct approach. It's been clamping down on anyone it thinks might turn to violence in the name of Islam. There have been a number of arrests in the past few months. The crackdown led to these men being charged with promoting terrorism. The government has also passed tougher laws. The Prevention of Terrorism Act allows authorities to detain people accused of being terrorists without trial or legal representation for up to 59 days. The government department that oversees Islamic issues knows that now is a critical time. In 2015, we aim to reach out to a million people using social and print media, TV and radio. There will be workshops and seminars to educate the masses about what real Islam is and why ISIL ideology is wrong. These sorts of arrests have two benefits for the Malaysian government. On balance, it's responding to both a domestic constituency trying to show people at home that, that the government is taking this issue very seriously, that there is real worry about this, and to Malaysia's friends and partners that it's, it's uh, seriously interested in combating this problem. For Imam Hashmi, the answer is simple. Speak to people at a grassroots level. Evening classes like this are a further attempt to explain the peaceful ideology and teaching of Islam.